Hello, my name is Arushi. I'm a vet student studying at the Royal Dick School of Veterinary Studies and I'm in the GEP program. So I've done an undergrad back home and I studied at Western University in Ontario, Canada. So right now uh, we're sort of taking a hybrid module uh, in terms of our learning. So we do online school and we have school in person at the vet school at, on the Easter Bush campus. So some days we have lectures online and then some days we also have lectures in person and all our practicals are in person. So in this vlog today, I wanted to show you what it's like when we go into vet school and the sort of stuff that we would do on a normal day. So in addition to showing you what it's like on campus, I'm also going to show um, what my day is like starting from the morning when I wake up all the way till nighttime. Then it's time for me to get ready and have some breakfast. After eating breakfast, I pack my backpack and get ready to leave. Most students take the bus to get to school unless they have a car and I find it quite convenient busing in Edinburgh. The Newington bus stop is really close to my flat and the bus ride takes around half an hour to 45 minutes. The Easterbush campus is just outside the city and it's in quite a scenic area surrounded by many hills. So now I'm walking towards the main teaching building and this is where we have all our lectures, labs, practicals and tutorials. My first class is a bacteriology lab, so I go to my locker to grab my lab coat. So first of all, we take a look at the bacterial cultures that have grown since our last lab. In this lab, we focused on identifying different species of bacteria based on their morphology. So we fix the bacteria on a microscope slide and then we stain them using the gram staining method. And then you can look at the bacteria under the microscope. So after my morning lab, it was lunchtime, I usually go to the cafeteria to heat up my food.
I had some time before my next class, so I went up to the library. During my downtime, I check my emails and catch up on notes. In the afternoon, I had a feeds and breeds class. This happened at the sheep shed. So in this video, I'm just walking down to the sheep shed and it's only a five minute walk from the main teacher building. In this class, we learned about different cattle breeds and sheep breeds. We then had a look at some feeds and forages and did a pop quiz at the end. That was my last class, so I caught the bus home. I'm living in university accommodation in East Newington Place, and I live with four other flatmates. After coming home, I'm usually really hungry, so I start meal prep. I like to cook enough food that lasts me a couple meals so I don't have to cook every day. After gobbling down my stir fry and rice, I got ready for rugby practice. We train at Peppermill Fields, so that's around a 25 minute walk from my place. There are tons of clubs you can join when you're at vet school, one of which is the ladies rugby club. I enjoy getting some exercise and I think rugby is a great team sport. So that was my day. I hope you found it interesting and uh, that it gave you some insight about what it's like being a first year vet student. Uh, I wanted to talk a bit about how important it is uh, to give your brain a rest and do something fun for your mental health and well-being. Uh, some ways that I like to relax are sketching or reading a good fiction book and I try to go for a walk every day. I, I really encourage that when you're here, you do something fun every day unrelated to school. Otherwise you might uh, get really tired and burn out. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in my second vlog.